Miss Ramos? Yes. Melina Engelman's here to see you. Oh, very well. Uh, please send her in. So surprised to see you so soon again, Melina. Please, take a seat. So, how are things with you? I'm so sorry to disturb you at this time, but I just wanted to let you know that I will not be divorcing my husband. What? What is this bullshit? Yesterday you said you hate that pinche cabrón pendejo. I love my husband, and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. You say you hate that lazy puta actor wannabe, and you're tired of supporting a stupid coup? Now you're all in love and shit? <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> Too much caffeine. Didn't mean to shout. Let's begin again. What were you saying? I love my husband, and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. You got that part. But you desire to have a responsible man in your life. I thought you wanted to start a new life for yourself and were tired of sneaking around with your boss. I love my husband and I want to... And the rest of your life. Oh, I got it. Did your husband put you up to this? I love my husband. Monica, I need you in here. So what do you think of your husband, Mrs. Engelman? I love my husband. Hypnotized. I'll just have to put a stop to that, won't we? Monica, repair the chamber. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, Melina, what do you think of Kevin? I... I don't believe your feelings are very clear. Let's go over this one more time again. Yeah, I know. It was totally easy once I got the hang of it. <laughs> then I started getting creative. Filled her head with a whole bunch of stuff to love about me. <laughs> I gotta go. It's over. My life is officially over. You got a book about suicide in that car? Hey, just hypnotize her again. Sometimes it just takes a little while. No. You know what? That backfired really badly. I made her 10 times worse than before. I've just got to accept my fate. Hey, the war is not over yet. Do yourself a favor. Call this guy. Oh, God. Who the hell is this? You remember Rusty Bauer from high school? The pothead? It's his uncle. He's the guy that got my old man out of that five death DUI rap. If we don't win, you don't pay. Huh. You threw all his stuff out the window. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's lucky I was in a good mood, because if not, I would have torched his shit, too. Girl, you're crazy. Let's make a toast. Here's to a future filled with wealth, happiness, and tons. Well, I mean tons of incredible sex. Yeah, you know, I need mean that. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know, he got fired from Fat Burger. I mean, what kind of loser gets fired from Fat Burger? You deserve much better. My life is gonna be so much better now that I don't have to hide my relationship with Raul. You know, it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back when you um got married, I I was kind of jealous. But just because you were gonna find Kevin oh. and I didn't have any. Please, you were the lucky one, trust me. You didn't have to deal with his trifling ass, home all the time, with his excuses. Yeah, I know. It's just it's just back then, I just thought he was kinda cute and <laughs> 
Not at all. No, I mean, back then. It was high school, I was young, I was stupid. I'm laughing, oh, he's dead. <laughs> Fat burger. And I don't, and it's, and it's, and I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, come on, girl. Is there any alcohol in this thing? Yeah, what you're saying is that he was cute, and that shit doesn't pay the bills. Got a lot of bills to worry about. Well, Raul said he'd promote me to area manager, so as soon as he does that, I can promote you. He really think I'll promote you. So he better. I have his wife's number on speed dial. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Her. Let's go out and dance. Let's salsa. I'm feeling mm. sexy. Let's party. I don't know. If I have another couple of drinks, I will not be able to drive well, home. We'll cab it. You can crash at my place. There's tons of room. Fuck fart isn't there anymore. <laughs> Come mm. on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. How can I resist an offer for my best friend? That's right. How can you? <laughs> 